Welcome back to Protein Function in Biochemistry. My name is Kevin Telkoff. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for future videos and notifications. All right, this is a formula right here that when you first start to talk about protein binding to ligands, uh, this is a common formula that you're going to see in your book. So it says that theta is equal to the concentration of L divided by the sum of KD and the concentration of L. This formula is actually really useful when you have proteins that have lots of binding sites or you have a lot of proteins and so there's a ton of binding sites and you'd like to know maybe how many of the binding sites are occupied or what ligand concentration produces a certain binding percentage. All right, And this is really useful and all but we also want to know where it comes from. So we're going to derive this expression right here. And sometimes in certain classes they can ask you to derive it so it's worth seeing where it comes from. All right. So what we're going to start with, and generally they ask you to start with something, we're going to start with the, um, we're going to start with the definition of KD, and we derived this in the last video. All right? KD is this expression right here. So let me go ahead and box this to start out with. This is the expression for KD. We're going to start with this. Now, if I'm looking over here at the actual equilibrium uh, reaction, notice here I have protein that's bound to ligand. Okay, this is protein, and I'm going to say this is bound. And this protein right here is not bound to the ligand, so I'm going to say this is, this is free protein. It's not bound to the ligand. Over here on the left it is. Now if I think about this logically, I have some concentration of the protein that's free and some concentration that's bound. Right? That seems logical. So if I were to add the two together, that gives me the total concentration of protein. So here what I have is the following. I have the, constant, the total concentration of all the protein is equal to the concentration of the free protein, this F, plus the concentration of the bound protein, or PL complex. All right, And I'll explain to you why I do this in just a minute. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for the free protein. Okay, Because it turns out the free protein, that's what's here in the equilibrium expression of the reaction. So if I just subtract the concentration of PL to the other side, I get the concentration of free protein is equal to the total protein concentration minus the uh, ligand-bound protein. All right, so now I'm going to play around with this. Notice I have here an expression for a free protein. It's total protein minus PL complex. Here I have the variable free protein. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this expression and just plug it in here. So what I get is that the KD, the dissociation constant, is equal now to the ligand concentration times the difference of the total protein concentration minus the PL complex. And then here, notice it's still divided by the PL complex. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by PL complex. So I'm going to multiply both sides by concentration of PL. I'm going to get this over here, and it cancels over on this side. So what I'm left with is KD times the concentration of PL is equal to, let me FOIL this out, so total protein concentration times the ligand concentration minus PL concentration times the ligand concentration. Now what I'm going to do is I'm ultimately going to solve for, uh, or I'm going, to, I'm going to actually, actually let me do this first, let me explain this. I'm going to add PL times L to the other side. So I'm going to have this term, KD, times the concentration of PL. This term has been added to the other side, so it's plus L times the concentration of PL. And that's equal to this, total protein concentration times L. Notice what I can do now. These two terms both have a PL in it, so I'm going to factor that out. So the concentration of PL times the sum of KD plus the concentration of L have to be equal to the total protein concentration times L. Now, that may seem like it didn't get us anywhere, but it actually did, and here's why. Remember how we talked about in the previous video that you have some proteins that are bound to the ligand, that's the protein-ligand complexes, and then some of them aren't. If you add the two together, that gives the total protein. So if you were to take the protein bound to ligand, the PL complex, divided by the total protein, then that tells you the percentage of protein that's bound to ligand. So if you had, say, I don't know, 150, um, of, I don't know, 150 proteins total, and I don't know, um, 
let's say 30 of them were complex to ligand, you take 30 divided by 150, that's one-fifth or 20% of them are bound to ligand. So the percentage I'm going to designate as a variable called theta. So theta, I'm calling theta the percentage of total protein that's occupied by or bound to ligand. So if I were to take this theta, this percentage, which is going to range between 0 and 100 percent, and multiply it times the total protein concentration, that should give me the PL, or the, per, or the um, concentration of the protein ligand complex. So I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this total protein and I'm going to divide it over to the other side. So that's going to give me theta is equal to concentration of PL divided by the total protein concentration. That's pretty handy and I'll show you why in a minute. This expression right here I've just rewritten over here. Okay, I've rewritten over here. Now, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to rearrange this expression. I'm going to first of all divide total protein over to the other side. So I'm going to divide by P total. This is going to be PL divided by P total. And then I'm going to divide this expression, KD plus L, over to the other side. And I get this expression, concentration of PL over total protein is equal to L over KD plus L. Now, what did we just say over here? PL over total protein, that's equal to theta. So because that also equals this expression, L over KD plus L, that's also equal to theta. So in other words, if I want to quantify the percentage of all available binding sites bound to the ligand, then that's equal to the ligand concentration divided by the sum of the ligand concentration and the dissociation constant. Okay, And this expression is really useful for a number of reasons. Ligand concentrations are actually pretty, the total ligand are pretty easy to measure. You can stick a certain amount of ligand in there. You can easily measure that. If I come back to this expression up here, PL is, is hard to measure. How do you measure, um, you know, how do you measure the, the proteins bound to ligand? That's hard to measure, so you, that's not something that's easy to do. KDs can be determined, okay? If you, if you want to know what the KD is, you can actually do something that, we did, that we're going to do in another video, which is a graphical interpretation of how to find KD. So KD can be determined, and if you know the KD, and the ligand concentration, you can determine a fraction of binding sites that are occupied. But in any case, this is the derivation of this expression, and this is going to be proved to be a very important expression when we talk about um, protein binding to ligand or protein ligand interactions. Okay? And, in the, and make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And in future videos, we're actually going to apply this to uh, various practice problems. Thank you, and make sure to uh, keep watching.